Hello and welcome. I'd like to introduce you to a revolutionary new way of working with Pro Tools. With 7.4, the Elastic Time feature allows you to treat audio as if it were MIDI, with absolutely no constraints on your tempo. And this is going to allow you to be much more flexible with your projects, but at the same time, be more productive. Now, Elastic Time is easy to use. It's incredibly powerful. It integrates perfectly with Pro Tools, and it sounds amazing. Let's take a look. Here in the edit window, you'll find a new addition in the track controls area. You now have the ability to assign the tracks to one of four algorithms. And these four algorithms can operate either in real time or in a rendered processing mode. Now the type of audio on the track itself will usually determine the type of algorithm to use. Let's take a listen. You can hear that as the song ramps up and down through this tempo change, the song gets faster and slower, but the pitch of the track remains the same. If I change all of the tracks to the vary speed algorithm, you can hear that it has a completely different effect on the song. What do you see, my love? Staring at me that way. Nothing to say. So how does elastic time work? Well, in order for an audio file to become elastic within the Pro Tools session, it first needs to be analysed. If I drag this drum file into the edit window and change the track to an elastic track, the file will go offline while it's been analysed. You can see the result of this analysis if I switch from waveform view to analysis view. You can see each transient has been given an event marker. I'll make the track a tick-based track so that the speed of the audio file will change relative to any tempo changes that I make, even though the audio file itself has not been conformed to the actual bars and beats of the Pro Tools session. Now you'll notice that the tail end of the kick and snare drum become a little bit skewed as it tries to stretch it through this large tempo change. Well, the Elastic plugin window can help you tailor this expansion on a track-to-track -track basis, allowing for the best sounding results. Incredible! Now the Digibase browser also has some new additions too, most notably the Conform to Tempo button. It's right at the top of the window, next to the four algorithms that are used for auditioning your files. With Conform to Tempo turned off, files will audition at their original tempo. But with it turned on, they'll audition at the session's tempo and they'll get analysed. And this is indicated by the new check mark next to the name. You can also audition against the files already in your session, making it easy to find the files that you want. Pro Tools will even wait for the next downbeat to come around. Now what I like is that the Digibase browser allows you to right click on any file or folder and calculate the elastic analysis for every file within. And of course this will speed up your workflow as you can analyse in advance. Now once you've found the files that you want, you can simply drag and drop them straight into the edit window and if conform to tempo is turned on, they'll automatically be assigned to an elastic track with the correct algorithm. In the next few videos, we'll take a look at some practical uses for elastic time within your session. Like taking event markers and turning them into warp markers so that we can move individual transients up and down the timeline. Quantizing audio to either the grid or a groove template. Absolutely fantastic. So join me as we take a closer look at Elastic Time.